Hi, this is our brand new, uh, less than a week old Model 3. It's a long range version, the rear wheel drive. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you uh, the what it looks like when you get the um, version nine update with the um, autopilot, the navigation on autopilot uh, feature. Um, not all version nines are the same. Um, and so just about uh, an hour ago, we got a notice um, on our iPhone that from the app that said uh, a new update was available. I confirmed it. 10 minutes later, um, it said it was done. So the update takes less than 10 minutes with a good Wi-Fi connection, which we do. And when we got to the car, this is the notice that, that came up. You see this? Navigate on autopilot beta. So this is what it looks like when you get the the latest version of version 9 because there are a few iterations of it. For example, our Model S has 42.2, which is the second iteration of version 9 that we've gotten on the Model S. The, the, the first and second versions, neither of them had this uh, Navigate on Autopilot. They had some improvements to the... The first version nine had improvements to the to the actual interface, the GUI interface. Uh, the media player is different. The second iteration of version nine on the Model S, which is 42.2, had sort of a had the ability to open. See this media, this um, new app launcher. This was new in version nine. On the Model S, it allows you to have the map open with the media player with one of these apps. So the calendar, for instance. I suspect the Model 3 didn't get that because we are in panoramic mode view. Um, and in the Model S, there's more verticality to it because of the portrait uh, orientation. And so the apps can be stacked uh, above each other. So we have the media player in the bottom. The, you can see the calendar in the middle, for instance, the calendars, and then, and then the navigation map on the top. And so anyway, the Model 3 didn't get that. But uh, what we did get on the Model 3 is we got this uh, Navigate on Autopilot, which is version 42.3. I know this is a lot of numbers and it's kind of silly, but um, it's just it's just different updates for, for the two different cars that we have. So anyway, uh, I can leave this here for a second so that you can pause the video and read what it says. And then I'll scroll up. So you can, and I'll pause right about there you can pause the video so you can read obviously uh, the second thing that we got is the ability to buy a key fob um, I know people on the forum have mentioned that you can't yet buy the key fob even though some people have gotten this update with this notice um, that suggests that you can buy it on the website um, but you can't because it's not there I'm not sure if it's there tonight I haven't checked but it wasn't there this morning when I checked um, and then the last thing is this regenerative braking, which uh, again, a few people on the forum have suggested it would be nice to have more aggressive regenerative braking. It's nice that this implies that it does. I, I haven't driven it. it. It's pretty late, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll check it out tomorrow and, and I'll, um, I'll see if that's, you know, how much more aggressive it is. Um, and then the last release notes, this is the previous, um, release of version 9 which when we bought the car it had this version on it um, which came with the uh, different uh, user interface um, with this app launcher this thing here this is new from version 9 so if you don't have version 9 you don't have this yet it's just a quick menu to get to some of the different apps um, but anyway so the the some of you who don't have version 9 haven't seen all this stuff yet um, but this is what it says. I'll go kind of slowly so you can pause the video at any time and, and check this out. Then, so the mobile app had some improvements. Uh, the, the, the actual, the being able to, to send um, a, a sort of your map or your navigation instructions from your phone or say a navigation, a direction, directions from your phone to the Tesla is pretty cool. Um, I've done that a couple times and it works flawlessly. Um, the application launcher, like I mentioned, was new. 
Um, there's imp various improvements to the different apps. So anyway, but, th but the main thing that I want, I want to show you guys is this is what it looks like when you get the um, 42.3, which has a navigate on autopilot. And uh, as you can see, let's go, let's close this and, oh, here we are. So you can, and look how brand new it is, 149. Um, so you can see there, there's 42.3 version nine. Um, that's this iteration. Like I said, there's a few iterations of it. And I haven't seen what it looks like when we, let's see, when we go to actually, I guess I got to hit here and then go to autopilot and see what the difference is. And there it is. Navigate on autopilot. That's the new thing. You can turn it off or on. Up. Oh, when you turn it on, you get this. You can pause it. It's just legal disclaimers, I guess. And that's what it is. Basically just saying don't be an idiot when you drive on autopilot, especially if you have this new feature. Okay, so you just hit yes, and I guess that cancels the sound. Okay. And that's it. Is there anything else new in this page? No. What's this navigation? Anything new here? Looks to be about the same. Uh, so anyway, things look to be about the same with the exception of that uh, autopilot, this navigate on autopilot. Um, and that's about it. All right. Well, that's what it looks like for those of you who are still waiting for it. This, that's how you'll know if you got it. You'll get those release notes. Yeah, let's close this that's what you'll get and that's how you know you've got it um, and that's it if you like this video please consider using the referral code in the description below uh, that helps everyone it helps Tesla it helps you you get you know some supercharging credits it helps us uh, the, the people who who have the referral codes it just encourages this whole new model that uh, Elon is trying where those of us who are Tesla owners um, help to spread the news to good people like you who are watching this video and um, it, it, you know we're all a great big happy family and then once you get your referral code then hopefully people will use yours so it's a really nice thing everyone wins if, if you do so thank you I'll post more videos later as I get um, some familiarity with with this feature here so look out for more videos coming soon take it easy bye